Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the eDraw mind map freeware to create a flowchart. In this video we will go over the steps to locate and download the eDraw mind map application. This software is free for you to download, install, and use. Next, we will go through the installation process. Finally, we will open the program and use it to create a simple flowchart. Okay, let's begin by finding the website. I'm using Windows 7 and the Firefox browser. I'll start by opening a browser and typing eDraw into the Google search engine. It will bring up this information. Clicking on the name will take us to the eDraw website. This is the eDraw website. There are many products available. Click on the Download tab to take us to the download page. Most of these products are available for a 30-day free trial. The eDraw Mind Map Flowcharting software we will be downloading is a freeware that does not have an expiration date. Click on the Download button. You will be asked to save the file. Click on the Save button. The file will be saved to your Downloads folder. Open the Downloads folder and double-click the icon to start the installation process. You will be asked if you want to run the file. Click on the Run button. Next, you will be prompted to select a language. Click OK for English. Now, the Setup Wizard will prompt you to click the Next button to continue. You are required to accept the End User License Agreement in order to continue. Click on the radio button to accept the agreement. Click the Next button to continue. Click the Next button to accept the default settings. Click this checkbox to create a desktop icon for the program. Click the Next button. Now, click the Install button to begin the installation. Notice that the checkbox to launch the eDraw Mind Map program is checked. Now click the Finish button to continue and the program opens up. I'm going to go back to the desktop now and show how to open the program by double-clicking the eDraw Mind Map desktop icon. On the Getting Started page, there are many examples. We are going to double-click on the basic flowchart example. I'm going to delete the main idea that is provided for you by dragging a box around it to select it and pressing the Delete key on the keyboard. Before we get too far along, click on the Page Layout tab and set the paper size to 8.5 by 11 and set the page orientation to portrait. The zoom slider is at the bottom right. If I scroll up, there we can see our page. If you take a moment to look at the program, you will see that it follows the basic Microsoft format with tabs along the top that bring up the various taskbars with icons for your tools. There are several panels available on the left. Let's take a look at basic flowchart shapes. When I scroll down through the basic flowchart shapes, you can see the various shapes and their names. If I select a shape by clicking on it, it becomes highlighted. I'm going to select the start or terminator shape when I place my cursor on the page, it displays a small box with a plus sign. Clicking on the page will place the symbol on the page. There's a dashed green line around the symbol with green boxes at the corners and sides. Moving these green boxes allows you to change the size. You can see if I pull down, it stretches it in this direction. If I pull it over, it stretches in this direction. 
but whenever I pull from the corner, it maintains the proportions. The program provides several different ways to create a flowchart. You can make several boxes and connect them together, or you can drag out several copies of a box and change the box type. I'm going to click another here and then click. Notice when I move it, it aligns. Down here it aligns to the bottom, it aligns to the center, and it aligns to the top. I'm going to resize the box, make it a little larger, and align it. I'm going to create another box, resize it, Maybe size this one down a little. There we go. Size this one down a little. And this. There we go. So now those are all aligned. You can see how it centers up. If you hover the cursor over the box in the upper right corner with the two small blue rectangles, you will see a list of symbol types. I can change the type by selecting that. I can create a document, I can create a decision, process, sub-process. We're going to go back to the process type. I can connect them together by going to the connector, clicking connector, go down to straight connector, hovering over this point here, drag, connects to that point, and you can see I have an arrow going there. If I do the same thing here, you can see I have an arrow, but it's going the other direction. So it points in the direction in which you drag it. I go back to my Select tool, select this, and delete the connector. Come back to Connector, Straight Connector, and I'm going to hover, drag out a connector. Go back to my Select tool, double-clicking inside the symbol creates an insertion point to add text. Type in my text, highlight the text. This is the text formatting area. If I choose, I can change my font. I'm going to use Calibri and I change my size to 24 point and I can make it bold. Double click, get an insertion point, enter my text, get that spelled right, highlight the text, change my font to Calibri, Twenty-four point bold. Double click. Type in my text. Highlight the text. Change the font. Change the size. Make it bold. Another way to create a flowchart is to drag out copies of the symbols and then change the symbol type. I'm going to select these, delete them using the delete key. I'm going to select this connector, delete it with the delete key. Now if I select this box, see the blue arrow here? If I click and drag down on the blue arrow and release, it drags out a copy of the shape. I repeat the process, click on the blue arrow, drag down, release. Again, I have a copy. At this point, I can come and make this a process shape. Double click for an insertion point, and I can type in my text. Highlight the text. Notice that it maintained the formatting from the copy that it made with the Calibri 10 point, 24 point, 
We also have options for text alignment. While this is selected, I want to center it. So I'll choose this text alignment. And at that size, it's probably too big for the box. So let me drop it down. There we go. I can double click here, type in my text, select it. It's Calibri, 24 point, bold. And there we go. When you're finished with your drawing, you can save your file by going to File, Save. In the Save pull down, you notice you have the eDraw XML files. The file extension is .edx. I'm going to name this file Test Run. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I click Save. And those are the basics of using eDraw Mind Map to create a flowchart.